Welcome to Voices of Privacy. My name is Donna Wardelick. In today's how-to video, we're going to look at everything regarding TikTok. We're gonna look at settings, how to manage them in terms of what ads are shown to you, what information they ask you to share, and how to manage and customize for your own needs. So first, we will go to the TikTok app. I am using my iPad for this, and we will click use phone or email. First, they ask for your birthday. I'm not gonna put my birthday in. I'm gonna put in a birthday of March 29th, 2007, which would make me about 15 years old. Click next. They ask for a phone number or an email. I am going to use a email a sample one that we have. There we go. And now we need to create a password. Of course, you always want to follow the rules in terms of what they're asking. I will show all of you what we'll do as it relates to a password. I will put in privacy, F-I-R-S-T. I will put the number one and I will put an explanation point. Privacy first. Now we're asking for a nickname. So I will just give this a nickname called How To. Now we get into it. And here's the most important thing as you look through this. First and foremost, keep your friends close. More now than ever, they will go through prompts with you to get your selections and your choices. By you selecting things, the content will automatically appear on what is called the For You page. So for the purposes of this how-to video, I will select a couple of interesting items. So here you have from the top, everything TikTok has asked me to personalize my experience by picking three or more topics. I hit next. And now I'm seeing videos are personalized based on what I watch or like. So now you see an update. TikTok would like to send you notifications. They may include alerts, sounds, and icon badges. These can be configured in settings. You have a choice here to allow it so you get TikTok notifications or not allow it. I'm going to choose don't allow. The second question is TikTok to track your activity across other company apps and websites. So it says this app allows TikTok to provide you with a better ads experience. Do I want to? Let's see if I click allow. Next up, now I have my content. So right here, I'm gonna to go to my profile. As you can see, it's everything I set up. Right now, I don't have any friends, but if I wanted to edit the profile, add anything, I can do that and also connect my Instagram and my YouTube as well. As I was looking at that, as you see, and this is the point about keep your friends closer, TikTok would like to access your contacts. I could sync my contacts to easily find people that I know on TikTok, and my contacts will only be used to help connect with friends. This is another privacy opportunity for you to say, don't allow. So as we go through, once again, on your For You page, and if you were gonna add a video, it needs to access your camera. What type of information does it have? First it asks for your camera, and then it may ask for your photos, whether you allow it or not. So let's say I say no, don't allow that. Then I say TikTok would like to access the microphone. I'm gonna say okay to that. Now it says camera access needed because to create a video, I need both sound and video. So I would open my settings if I wanted to, and then scrolling down, to the specific app that you're using, which is TikTok. As you can see right now, it's grayed. They cannot access my contacts. They can access my microphone. They cannot access my camera. 
Surrey and Search. Learn from this app, show app and search, show content, show on home screen, suggest app, suggest notifications. You can gray all of these out. Next up, notifications. As you can see, it's already off. I do not want to hear any notifications from TikTok. And finally, allow tracking. It's automatically on allowing it. You have to physically go in and change that setting. So remember, when you're setting up TikTok, it's important to go through the prompts on the actual app itself, as well as in your own settings under the app to understand how you're being tracked. We will go back to our home. And now you can see based on the choices, what have we chosen? So some of the choices we talked about is curiosity. We talked about animals. We talked about fun things. So based on my profile, this has been showing me what I want. If I wanted to swipe back, I can see who provided that. Swipe back. I can swipe up until I really feel like I'm looking at something that I like. I can see that there's 1.4 million. I'm going to like that. Therefore, putting my data out there that I like this. Now TikTok will begin profiling me. Maybe I like horses. As you continue to go in, you will see all of these. This was food. This was a home aspect. So I can like it. And once again, just swipe up and I continue swiping up until I really find something that I like. So the major aspects to understand about TikTok are keep your friends close and most importantly, never share your contacts because once access is given, your entire address book friend list is given to TikTok for them to directly communicate with. So how do you manage this? Let's talk about that. Let's go to your settings. Clicking here on your settings and privacy. Tap settings and privacy and then look at sync contacts. Privacy. You can sync contacts and Facebook friends. If you've already synced your smartphone or your Facebook contacts, you can remove them here and cut off access. Make sure your both toggles are on and off for gray, meaning in your in your contact. So right now, I have a public account, as you will see. I'm going to make it a private account. I'm going to look here, and I'm going to make sure that these are all grayed, as you see. I will not allow them to sync my contacts. So that's part one. Part two looks at advertisements. You can manage what you want to see. And we're going to go all the way down to ads. This is where we find out all of the information. We can choose to hide the ads from an advertiser who's shown us ads. We can choose what we want personalized. As you can see, we have no information here, but many accounts will. Ad activity. We can even provide feedback on ads, what we think, and let TikTok know what we'd like to purchase, what we don't want, or maybe we don't want to see anything at all. One more incredibly important setting is using off TikTok activity for ad targeting. If you do not want this and you do not want to be targeted, this must be gray. Gray will allow this function not to work. If you press on green, you're allowing TikTok activity for ad targeting. Next up, you can always turn your account private. You can suggest it to others. You can be active, but active without people seeing what you're doing and what you're liking. You can choose to be on TikTok, not like anything, not share anything, but just view things. That is probably the top most important. So just going back again, as we are in our TikTok account, we've shown you how to set it up. We've shown you they're going to ask you to access contacts. You can easily, upon the first prompt, don't allow. But if you do allow, once again, going into your privacy and sync contacts and making sure it's great so you're not allowing those contacts to be synced and TikTok to communicate with them. 
Once again, on the custom advertisements, you can choose not to like any preferences, even though TikTok does ask at least three. You can choose that, but you in the back settings can choose to go to privacy and ad personalization and making sure use of TikTok activity for ad targeting is turned off and gray. And finally, making your account private. The best way is to keep your account private, to manage all of your settings, and to understand how your information is being used.